Hello folks and welcome to my new YouTube channel where I share some tips and tricks about producing, mixing and mastering. I am Ander Verheven, audio engineer, producer and educator at Ander Verheven Music and Busyworks. At Busyworks I also do the mastering a variety of styles. In this video I'm going to explain sidechain compression and ducking which are a similar effect to each other. Sidechain compression started way back in the days in the radio industry where DJs no longer had to move the fader to reduce the music if they wanted to talk. In 1996, Daft Punk used this technique in their mixes to stand out the kick a little bit more. A track for example is Around the World. Back in 1996, plugins were not as good as they are today and they had to solve this problem with hardware. They used the Alessis 3630, which I own, and if you are a hardware geek, you can also buy one from the second-hand market. Today there is a newer version of it, that's the 3632, but doesn't have the same mojo as the old version. Okay, today I want to explain this whole video in software. We're going to use two plugins. The plugins are not sponsored, I own them. The first one is the stock compressor from Presona Studio One, and to set it up Properly, you need a sidechain signal, which doesn't have any output here. And you can tell the compressor, okay, listen to the sidechain signal and act on my, for instance, this time the melody or the bass line. I'm going to let you hear an example of the audio, which I made for this video. Um, and then I'm moving over to Kickstart, which is really great plugin from Nicky Romero made by cable guys you should check them out because they have also the shaper box which is an awesome plugin but today i want to keep it very simple so i'm going over to let you hear the audio then i'm switching over to kickstart and then i'm coming back to you So, these were the two examples, and now you probably think, yeah, I already know this. But what's so new about this one? Well, to be honest, as an audio engineer, I get a lot of assignments like mixing or mastering, or a combination of those two. And for starting producers, I hear constantly the same mistake. As you can hear in the start of the music, the melody is already ducking without any kick. Let's assume the start is the break and you still hear the melody ducking that's very weird so what i talk about is you have to take care of this one if you have a song which has a filtered version of the kick and you still want to uh, sound it a little bit pompy that's no problem use it but as soon as the kick is quiet then it's very weird to still hear the ducking so how do you take care of this one well, it's very simple. For the compression, you can remove your sidechain signal as well as over here. Ooh. And over here. And now you can if you, we choose for the compressor, it should only react 
when the site change signal is brought in. Now the problem is with kickstart you don't have any signal. So how do you kind of manage this one? Well it's very simple and every DAW has it. You can automate the bypass function. It's very simple I can assign it here and at this moment it's bypassed and I can throw it on whenever I like. Like here, let's get off, it gets off, this one gets on and off. Now let's hear for the result. Okay, now you think, okay, nothing new, easy, easy PC, I can do that as well. But there's one catch, and that's the volume difference. Because as soon as I start ducking, I also gonna change the volume and reduce it. And in this case, it reduces about 1.20 dB. So I have to restore the volume with, oh, 1.22 dB. So that means that the moment I start to reduce everything, or start ducking everything, everything starts to reduce. And that's going to be a big problem if you want to mix it in your mixing stage. Because you're also going to use other utility plugins like a compressor, equalizer, and it's all going to affect the volume. So in this case, you can also, at the moment, at this it starts to ducking again. You can paint it in again, like you do with the kickstart. And also if you use the compressor, because that's the same problem and the same amount of dBs it's gonna reduce. It's not always 122, you have to measure it with a loudness meter or VU meter, whatever you like. I like to look at the LUFS. And then your problem should be solved. I have to do the same with the baseline. I'm going to choose for bypass. I'm going to audit, edit. I'm going to edit here. There. there we go. Last time, checking it. By using this utility plugin, in this case mix tool, you can gain stage your signal. Now I hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you want me to make more content like this, follow me on Instagram, Facebook and my channel. Hit the subscribe tab and notification bell. I will see you soon in my next video.